Hey guys, Mr. Wahid al here back with another video. Okay guys, I've installed a new uh, hard drive which is the Samsung Evo 970 Plus, I believe. Let me just double check, yeah. Samsung SSD 970 Evo Plus 1 terabyte. okay. So, before this video, I've made another video on the Micron 2200 uh, benchmark disk speed. So, I'm going to do one on this. Let me run it in admin. Oh, it's already in admin mode. That's okay. Okay, so I want to test the D drive. The D drive is the one, the new one, which is a Samsung one, as we saw. Okay, let's go for it. Damn. Look at them read speeds, guys. Fucking hell. So the read speed is rated at 3300 or 3500, something like that, 3500 and 3300, something like that. I might have to plug my charger in, get some more performance out, see if it's, that could be causing me to lag or something. Let me just uh, I'm gonna restart this test now because I plugged my charger in so I can get more power out of it. Let's see if I can, let's see if that makes a difference because it's not fair because I did the other one on charger. So let's see if it does make a difference or not. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Okay, so now we're hitting the full uh, read speed of the hard drive, it's an M.2 drive. That's really good. Yeah, 3500 as said, as rated by Samsung. So the read speed should be 3500, which it pretty much is. And the write should be 3300. Okay, we're a bit higher than the read speed now, which is really good. We're on the good side of it. So I'm really happy by that. And one good thing about this Samsung drive is, uh, as it gets more full up, it actually doesn't slow down. Compared to the Crucial, which does slow down, which is quite bad. And yeah, you can already see this is faster than the crucial one that I have in at the moment on my C drive. So what I'm going to do is clone the first drive, put it onto this drive, and then format the other one and boot off this drive. So this is going to be my new C drive basically, because this one's faster, everything will run faster. So that'll be really good. And it's one terabyte, it's double the size of the other one. So once this gets, I'm going to leave 150 gigs free. So once that's full up to 150 gig free, I'm going to switch over to the next drive and start filling that up. The 500 gig one and then when that's full up to about 50 gigs i'd say no that just slowed down once that's full, full up to about 100 gigs i'm going to switch over to the next one which is the uh, samsung qvo drive that i have it's a bit slower than all of these because it's not it's just a normal ssd so but uh that's a one terabyte as well so that's i don't think i'll ever use that much space anyway so it's there anyway if I need it. So I'm really happy about that. But yeah, these read speeds are amazing. Look at that. Fucking hell. They actually mad them. Hopefully we hit the right speed of 3300 this is the first time I heard the fan kick in today since I've done a thermal repaste go check that video out soon uh, as well I mean <laughs> so that's really good okay 3300 3200 is pretty good not too bad all the numbers had stars next to them so it's under certain circumstances so if we're nearly reaching it it's not bad okay fans going a bit crazy because uh we've got this on now we're pulling out full speed now so full speed is 4.5 gigahertz. We're gonna running, we're running at desktop speeds basically right now, high end desktop speeds, constantly. That's why my CPU usage is very low, even though we're doing very heavy work. 
trying to push into Raman Puli out just in the speed of it. The writing as well. So that speed's not bad. I'm really happy with that speed. It's a big improvement from the crucial one. So I'm gonna download the Samsung Magician app as well because that's what you use to manage this do firmware updates and stuff. As you can see now, 100% CPU. CPU is taking a battering at the moment to get this all this uh, data written. In. Which is a madness. Look at that, 100% CPU. That's why you hear the fans going a bit crazier. It's not very loud though compared to normal, so I'm really happy about that. I'm back to 2% now. Really proud, I'm really proud, I'm liking it. Okay, on the last one now. Random right, test 2 out of 5, 3. I'm really, I'm really happy about that. These are some really good results. I finally play every game I want <laughs> without worrying about space. Because I wanted to play Fortnite, I had to delete it just to get GTA 5, stuff like that. And I want to get Warzone, the Call of Duty thing. But I could never, I could never have enough space. So I can get that now, that's 100 gig though. Uh, there's a few more games I have that I need to download and stuff. But yeah, it's gonna be really good now. Future proof as well. Got 32 gig RAM. Everything's running fine. And yeah, that's really good. Oh, the results are in. There you go, guys. So the Samsung, the, the Samsung speeds, very good speeds. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Uh, goodbye.